Good morning, everyone. Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on this morning's video. Now, there was a comment uh, done a while ago now um, talking about it doing a, a bit of a deeper dive within um, the branch table. So I'm just purely going to spend uh, a bit of time for this week's video just on the branch table. And you can see here, uh, I have a just a, a basic um, YouTube spec that I've created. Um, obviously, the branch table is empty, and I've just linked it back to the ASME pipe and fitting. So I'm, this is obviously just theoretical. Um, there's nothing in here. There's, nothing's been engineered, so there's no need to sort of follow this um, to the letter. But it's just an example. So I'm just going to add in some one to ten inch seamless pipe. And now that it's added to the spec, if I go to the branch table, then you can see here we have uh, the branch table populated between all of the sizes. And just for argument's sake as well, I'm going to get rid of uh, I'll get rid of these sort of half sizes just to make things a little bit easier. So they're all on whole sizes. Okay. And then there we go. So easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and ten. Actually, we'll get rid of five too. Five is a bit of a weird, weird size. So again, quite easy. Now, if I double click in here to select anything on the branch list, there's nothing in there. So we need to edit the legend. So down the bottom right here, click on edit legend, uh, and I can add a branch. So it's a um, pipe is the part type. Um, I'm just gonna use the spec part, which is the pipe. Adding a reducer, no. So, and I'm gonna call this um, ST and we'll call it stub in or maybe SI no let's do ST okay um, branch out header and branch there's nothing else there to sort of really have a look at so now we've got stub ins so now I can I can sit there and go through and use this come on Okay, so now we have stub ins for 10, 10 by 10, 8 by 8, okay, and we can even select all of them and then go through and, and add the branches that we want. So if I just click on there and press shift and click up in the top left, you can see we have selected there or you can go through and do individual ones. Okay, so now Plant 3D will allow us to have stubbing connections between all of the um, all of the pipes. So if we come back here and do, uh, let's do some T's. Okay. So now, same thing. We can go back and add the legend. So I'm, I'll do that again slowly. Down the bottom right, click Edit Legend. We'll get this new dialog and click on Add Branch. Now the first entry there is going to be a T. And we're going to use the T's. Now I'm not going to add a reducer because we're going to make this uh, TE. And I'll come in here and edit the legend and call it T equal. Okay. So now we got a 10 by 10, we can do a stub in and we can also do an equal T. Okay. So if I, if I was to just right click on it and pick TE, you can see all I do is just get the one option. But if we go multi branch, I can pick both. Or I can double click it and we get that option. So that's now equal T's. Okay. So far, so good. We can see that for a 10 inch header and a one inch branch, we can do a stub in, or for a 10 inch header and a 10 inch branch, we can do a stub in or an equal T. So now let's have a look at uh, T reducing. So same, I've just left it all as shed 40 for now. I'm not going to run this in Plant 3D, so you will obviously have to determine what uh, 
uh, what parts you'll, you'll have in there. So we're going to add reducing T's in here. And you can see there's a whole whole bunch of, of T sizes in there. And if we do the same thing with the branch table, edit the legend down the bottom right. Let's see why. There we go. All right, so it looks like there's a bit of a graphics issue, but I'll click on add branch. Uh, and this one is also a T, but reduced TR, and we'll also call it T reduced. And go apply, and OK. So we can also do the same thing now. So for a 10 by 8, I can come in here and do a reducing T. And if it allows it in, in all of the sizes, so we'll see there may or may not be 10 by, oh, okay. Okay, so you can see how it says it's not available. Okay, so it doesn't, it's not gonna let us because there isn't. So let's just double check that, a 10 by three. Okay, so we got 10 by 4, 5, 6, and 8. So anything below that, even though I've, I've told it to do a reducing T, it's saying it can't find one in there. Okay, so you can see we got a bit of an error there, so we'll just take that out. So at this point, maybe in your fittings, you might have a, a special type of um, OLED, you know, coming off a 10 by 3. You'd have to work that out. So same thing here, 8 by 6. And we'll see if we can get it to highlight again if there's any issues. 10 by, uh, what are we? 8 by 4. Okay, and I would say maybe 8 by 3. Okay, 8 by 2. Okay, so you can see again, it's it's come up saying that there's an issue. So that's that's the lowest it's going to go. And again, to confirm it, come in here look at the sizes and say, you can see that it goes to eight by three, but there's no eight by two. Okay. So that's really about it. There's nothing sort of too difficult or special about it. You just have to make sure that you have the correct parts in here. And then um, once they're in here, then they'll be available to you here in the branch editor. When, when they're in here in the branch editor, you obviously have to make sure that they're in this legend um, as well. If they're not in the legend, then they're not going to be able to, to be selectable um, in here as well. So you also have priorities. Um, so things like uh, the pipe and the T's, you might say that, um, you know, the, the priorities for this branch, so this four by four, uh, stubbins is the first priority and then T's is the, is the second one. But it might be that um, T's are the main priority. So if we can move that up in, in the system uh, and then we'll say a T is the first option and then stubbins is, is sort of a, a second option for that as well. But again, that'll be something that you'll determine off your um, catalogs and specs, okay? So hopefully that's cleared up a few questions for some people. If you do have any comments, then please do uh, list them in the comments below and I will endeavor to answer them. Uh, thumbs up for the video if you liked it. Thumbs down, obviously, as well if you didn't. But please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I'll see you next week for something else. Autodesk, AutoCAD, uh, Plant 3D, Advanced Steel, whatever related, whatever I sort of come across, uh, I will make a video. But as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. See you later.